Hello, I am Bruce Joby, CEO of the UND Center for Innovation Foundation, and thus also CEO of the EB5 Regional Center for North Dakota and Minnesota. Thank you so much for joining us today. I apologize for not being there in person, uh, but you'll be well attended to. We started the UND Center for Innovation 30 years ago in 1984. Our mission is innovation, entrepreneurship, and access to entrepreneur capital, as well as providing a strong infrastructure for entrepreneur education. Access to capital is greatly needed to help launch new and expanding businesses. Our center has helped launch over 700 startups, which employs more than 600 people, and these companies have attracted more than $200 million in investments. After we established a robust angel investors network of over 140 angel investors, we, been, we began to explore the EB-5 program as a way to help regional businesses secure foreign direct investment. We received our U.S. Customs and Immigration Services approval for a regional center in 2011, and we are proud to have been the first regional center approved in either North Dakota or Minnesota, serving as pioneers for the EB-5 industry in our region. Our North Dakota, Minnesota EB-5 Regional Center purpose is to number one, make EB-5 investments easy, transparent, and successful. And number two, is to stimulate economic development and improve regional productivity through foreign direct investment. We are unique in the nation in being a university-affiliated, nonprofit EB-5 Regional Center program, as well as we're unique in being focused on EB-5 investment in a large geography of two states, and focus not on just large projects, but a program approach of many projects in many industry sectors to foster economic development with foreign direct investments. So far, our regional center has attracted $80 million in investment. As a result, nearly 3,000 jobs will be created, and we remain the only nonprofit, university affiliated regional center in the nation. We like that approach. Our hard work has not gone unnoticed. We recently have been recognized by two prestigious national and international awards. The first award was given by the State Science and Technology Institute in 2013 for excellence in technology-based economic development. In 2014, we received the International Incubator of the Year Award from the National Business Incubator Association, recognizing our work for increasing access to entrepreneur capital. So we were the top international incubator of the year out of 5,000 incubators worldwide. Today we are excited to introduce you our newest project, the Stonehaven Senior Housing Community. Thank you for your attention and for taking a good look at this project. Hi, my name is Alexandra Loveless. I'm the Senior Project Manager of the North Dakota, Minnesota EB-5 Regional Center. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you today, but I'm excited to talk to you about a new EB-5 investment opportunity, our newest project, Stonehaven Senior Living Community. Stonehaven is an assisted living facility that allows elderly individuals who no longer wish to or are no longer able to live at home by themselves to live in a community with others of similar ages. Stonehaven is made up of 95 units of memory care, assisted living, and independent living units. In addition to these units, the facility offers a number of amenities to its citizens, including a fitness facility, a walking path, access to a swimming pool, physical therapy, a media room for movie nights, daily activities to interact with other citizens, a gourmet chef, on-site medical assistance, as well as a chapel. Stonehaven is located in Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is a thriving city. It was, it was recently ranked one of the top five cities to live in in the United States. In addition, the facility is located only five miles from the Mall of America, which is the largest mall in the United States. 
It is also located seven miles from the airport, which allows family and friends to easily, easily come and visit their loved ones. The size of the project is $20 million. This is broken down into three components, 10 million of which is EB-5, so there will be 20 investors at $500,000 each. $3 million is being put in equity by the developers, as well as $3 million in a senior loan position from a bank. The job creation for this project is a really great selling point. With the 20 investors, each, investment, each investor needs to create 10 jobs, as I'm sure you know. So that's a total of 200 jobs. We ran an economic analysis at the beginning of this project and determined that 357 jobs could be created, which means that each individual investor's job creation has an 80% buffer. This makes this project very secure on the job creation front. The EB-5 investment for this project will be structured as debt. This gives the investors some additional control over what happens with their investment, especially upon the exit. The developer and our regional center have put in a number of risk mitigation components throughout the entire lifespan of each of your investments. One might wonder what happens if I put my money into the project and they don't receive enough EB-5 funding and so construction begins but they're not able to complete it for whatever reason. There's a construction guarantee in place which means once construction begins it must be completed so we know that the facility will be built. Then you might wonder, okay, well, what if the facility is built, but we're not able to find tenants to occupy the facility? There was a third-party market analysis conducted, which determined that, that there is a significant need for this type of a facility in the Minneapolis area. In addition, the project developer has contracted with one of the industry-leading property management companies, Ebenezer. Ebenezer currently manages 4,600 units similar to this in the Minneapolis area. Our regional center team was able to tour one of these facilities last week. The facility has been open for two years and is already at 95% occupancy. That's incredibly successful and that's incredibly on par with all of the other Ebenezer properties. Sometimes EB-5, um, the EB-5 position being a second debt position rather than the senior debt position isn't able to be covered by collateral. With this project, there was an independent market appraisal done on the property and they found that once construction is complete, the property will be worth $20.2 million. With the senior loan at $7 million and EB-5 at $10 million, that completely covers 100% the collateral for both the senior loan and the EB-5 loan and gives an additional $3 million cushion just in case. Mitigating risk with the escrow. What happens if your I-526 is denied? For whatever reason, if your I-526 is denied, the project will return your money. In the, to ensure that they're able to do so, there will always be a 20% holdback account in the escrow in the event that one of the individual petitions were denied. So that there's always money there that, so we're able to return your investment to you. There's also additional financial security in this project. The $7 million bank loan that I had previously spoken about can be increased to $11.5 million if necessary. So if for some reason, not all the EB-5 money is able to be raised or the overall costs of the project increases, there's an additional $4.5 million that the bank is willing to lend to the company. The exit strategy. While nothing can be guaranteed, the number one ex proposed exit for this project is through refinancing. It's important to note that this developer has previously constructed 60 developments such as Stonehaven. And of those, 16 were refinanced in year four, 27 were refinanced in year five, three were refinanced in year six, and one was refinanced in year seven. While three were refinanced in year eight, but those were pre-government contracts knowing that those would be refinanced within the eight year. And then there are 10 additional facilities that are younger than four years that are in the process of being refinanced, but haven't been done, have it, it hasn't been done so yet. So you can be rest assured that this developer is very, very confident that they'll be able to refinance this project, thus being able to exit the EB-5 investors within the five year time frame of the loan. But always making sure that they would never exit any of the investors prior to the investor receiving their I-829 approval and putting their EB-5 investment at risk. That would never happen. It's written into the offering documents. 
I think it's also really important to note the strong government support for this project. We had letters of support written directly from the U.S. Senator of Minnesota, Al Franken, as well as the Minnesota Secretary of State, Mark Ritchie, stating that they love this project, they're in support of this project, and they want to see it move forward. As I mentioned earlier, the, the market analysis that was conducted for this project mentioned that there is a significant need. The aging population in the U.S. is what we call the baby boom phenomenon. In the 1950s and 60s, the number of babies that were born significantly increased. All of those individuals are now becoming into this aging or elderly population, which will need assisted living facilities or facilities similar to Stonehaven. If we were to build one facility like Stonehaven every day for the next year, it will not keep up with demand. That is how significant the demand is for this. This is a very safe and secure EB-5 project. We are very excited about it and we hope that you are too. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at a-l-e-x-a-n-d-r-a dot l-o-v-e-l-e-s-s at ndmneb5.com. That's a-l-e-x-a-n-d-r-a dot l-o-v-e-l-e-s-s at ndmneb5.com. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.